Right, we're doing a happiness video and this is my friend Laura Hi. and she's my best friend in the whole world. Say hello. Hi, hello. Hi. And the reason I wanted to interview Laura was because she's the happiest person I know. She's probably the happiest person I've ever met in my life. So I'm going to ask her some happiness questions. So just answer them as honestly as you like. Will if do. you don't want to answer them, just do two fingers up. That's fine. Okay. Are you ready for the questions? I'm ready. Far Fantastic. Away. Okay. So, Laura, uh -huh. what makes you happy? What makes me happy? Yeah. Spending time with family and mm -hmm. friends, yourself, spending time Aww. with yourself. Oh, thank you, darling. And just, just spending time, being there, being like someone else's like rainbow. Or being, if they're upset, just helping people and just just being there. And when I get home from work, yeah. getting out of my clothes, just putting them on the bed, getting out of them, <laughs> getting into my pyjamas. Yeah. I love my pyjamas. Comfort clothes. Um, and why does that make you happy when you get in your comfort because clothes? Because I feel all snuggly and I feel secure and safe. And, yeah, yeah, within the four walls. But I love going out as well. I love socialising. Yeah. Because I'm like a social butterfly. You um, are, you um, certainly I are. Am, I am like a social butterfly. <laughs> um, you like to flitter about. I like to flitter about, yeah, I do, I do. Yeah, <laughs> from here to there and everywhere. Um, I love to go to Birmingham quite a bit. Ah, um, what's in Birmingham? Oh, philosophical people. <laughs> <laughs> philosophical okay. people, but yeah. yeah, I like the yin and the yang as well, and I just... Like, yeah, I'm quite philosophical as well, but yeah. yeah. When you say yin and yang, do you mean that you like all different kinds of people? Yeah, like the good and the bad, and... yeah. Okay, yeah. you like it like a mixture? Yeah. All right, that's interesting. So, would you say you like being around people who are like you? Do you like be, being I around do. people I who like, are I like sort of outgoing and bubbly? People, outgoing, outgoing bubbly. Yeah. But then I like like-minded people as well that are like say philosophical or people that are into um, life coaching or like, like Tony Robbins and yeah. like people who like him and some of his work and just. Or Les Brown, or just people who are like minded, really. Yeah, um, inspiring. But, but they're people. inspiring who like want to motivate as well. Yeah. I like being around people like that. But then I also don't mind being around negative people because I feel like I can. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like maybe I can help them, but then okay. or maybe I can give ideas and suggestions. But sometimes they do. You know gotta I mean? be careful. You gotta be you? careful. So you gotta get that. You gotta contrast. know when to step back. You gotta know when to step back. Yeah, definitely step back and yeah. not be a bit like woo. But then, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But I like philosophical okay. people and yeah, yeah a lot people of positiveness. Fantastic. Okay. And okay, we've got a bit of we've got one, we've got a question now that you might you might not want to answer, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. So. I was wondering what are the kind of what are the kind of things that you do when no one else is around that kind of make you happy but that you wouldn't necessarily go around admitting to people have you got any weird little habits that you're happy to admit to or just like silly things that seem silly okay, that, that make seem you happy silly that, that seem childish happy. or silly I, um, or weird okay. <laughs> I, I know you admitted something to me earlier, so I walk around my house now. Yeah, yeah. So Good girl. Bit of freedom and whatnot, but um, excellent. You gotta let your body do breathe. Do? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Don't I say it's good for you? I've read a few magazines and they oh. say it's good for you. In yeah. Oh, anyway. okay. I've not so, read those um, magazines. Uh, I need to read those. <laughs> I can't remember where it was, but it yeah. was good. Yeah. So, so I do like you know. Um, I don't know, well, I'll veg out quite a bit and like. Yeah. So, what's, veg, what's vegging out to you? Oh, what do you do when you veg out? Me, it's just like putting some music on on the telly, yeah. watching the music channel because I love music, oh. listening to music. I love listening yes, to music. That makes you happy. When people are on around, playing my music because my partner, I love him to bits. Yeah. But. He doesn't like the same music as me. And he's like, no. this music is really good. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Turn this rubbish off. Okay, so let him have his whatever. Or, yeah. You know, and then when he's out the house, TV is mine, yeah. sister. TV is mine. You are the owner, so the mistress the owner. of the remote. I'm the mistress. Of the, yeah, yes, I am. That's yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I use the TV, I listen to music, and that's it, really. And that chills you I out. I just love it too. It chills me out and it makes me happy. And I also, 
I don't like to fart around people too much. So <laughs> I do pass wind quite a bit when I'm on my own. Don't we all, don't we all? But girls don't admit it, do they? But it's weird. Do, uh, girls at don't home, admit it. I do pass wind a you lot. You like to let rip. I like to let rip at home oh, mainly. Good for you. Because I do try not to let rip elsewhere. If I got it, yes. I got it, but I let rip a lot at I've home. I've heard you a few times. We've let rip in front of each other. Yeah, that's we good. have, yeah, but... I'll, I only you. let rip when I'm comfy. Yes. So if I don't let rip around you, sorry, folks, I'm not comfy. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know you well yeah, enough I don't yet. Don't know you well to, enough yet to, to let rip to do a bottom to... burn. <laughs> okay. And okay, what are the moments that you sort of truly lose yourself in laughter? So what are the moments where you kind of you, that make you sort of laugh and laugh and laugh, and then you kind of. And it takes a while to calm yourself down. What is it that really like that you really spot, find funny? Anything when it's done spontaneously and it's out of the blue, and I'm oh, like, okay. oh, and I'm not laughing. Yeah. Or like some jokes, just really funny but naughty jokes. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. that's it, really. I suppose anything on telly that's funny, like some of the comedians as well. Yeah. Like when I've been to Glee, but anything that happens funny and it's not meant to, <laughs> and you're like, so there's a forbidden. There's a forbidden laugh. element. Uh, yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. But that makes me laugh as well sometimes. Even yeah, though I, shouldn't, I get but that. Then I should. Yeah, but I get that. But when you're still, not supposed to laugh, it makes it yeah, worse, doesn't it, it? It does, but it's still good though. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, and oh, I'll just do two more questions. So, can you think of anything that you used to do as a kid that you really loved doing that really made you laugh <gasps> that you still do now? Oh, that you still. I got make thinking me about laugh. this earlier. Yeah, or things that you really loved that you sort of still love now. Because oh. I know for me it's the ice cream van. When I hear the ice cream van, I get this little childish thing where I think, I want to go and chase the van and get things an ice cream. I, I used to yeah. love the pick and mix. <gasps> yes, uh, pick and mix. Oh my and, God. And, and they used to have like CDs and tapes and stuff. And I used to like buying the single cassette tapes when I was little. Yep. And, well, I used on a Saturday, every Saturday, it was weird. Mum mm. and Dad and me, before my sister was born, but I think Rob was, no, he wasn't. My brother might have been, or, yeah, yeah. anyway. So we used to, oh, no, I was about five, actually, and we used to, uh, Mum used to finish work, and we used to go to the chippy mm. on Station Hill in Kidderminster, and we used to uh, get our chips and whatnot and stuff, get yeah. a takeaway. We used to watch Baywatch, oh, Gladiators, Baywatch. Uh, like Blind Out with Silla Black, yeah. Cash, and then I used to go to bed, and it used to be like that like every Saturday, every Saturday it was the same and it would be me, so actually. nice, and it'd yeah. be like that family thing, and yeah. I love that. We did all that together, um, and that made you happy. We did all that together, but things that made me laugh then, back then. Just when people like have done stuff, like you know, yeah. it's not meant to have happened. Yeah. And <laughs> so stuff. somebody falls like, over. If somebody used to get told off at school, I used to be a bit like. <laughs> I'm I like, know when I've been telling my daughter like, off, you start laughing, you oh, start well, giggling. I'll, I'll do. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry, you start I'm hiding like, behind your top. I do. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like that. At, even even at school and stuff, when teachers are trying to, I'm like. You know, biting my trying to be the grown up, trying to be the grown up, hoovering away, thinking, Don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. I'm hoovering away, and I'm like, Don't laugh. (laughs) I'm grown up, honest. Yeah, okay, yeah, brilliant. Okay, one final little question I'm interested in like how we choose our clothes. Because I know most girls have got a wardrobe where we've got all different colours in our wardrobe, and I was thinking, like, I I wear brighter colours when. I'm happier and then I have days where I sort of want darker colours. So when you choose your clothes, do you kind of do you pick different colours depending on like how you're feeling, what mood you're in, what time of year it is, or do you just sort of grab anything? I'll say I pick it on how I'm feeling, but sometimes I pick it I'll pick them out on like where I'm going. So yeah. if I'm going somewhere like to like, I don't know, for a meal for a nice meal, a really, really nice meal, then I might wear something, or, like, really, really casual, like, but smart. Yeah. Or if I'm going cleaning to, like, school, then I'd wear my jogging bottoms or just an old pair of leggings and a T-shirt and just a yeah. jumper, just any old T-shirt or yeah. just, you know. But if I'm going somewhere nice or to a friend's house, I might wear jeans, but I don't wear my jeans to school. And no. then, like, so it's got to be practical as well. It's got to, well. it's got yeah. to feel it's got to feel right. Because I think us women have to deal with this more than men, don't we? Because men don't 
generally have to worry about things going but together. Like, I, I mean, I've got like loads of clothes. It's like pajamas as well. You but have. you know, I just go on how I feel and what I feel comfy in as well. Yeah. Sometimes just yeah, I'm okay. not fancy. Brilliant. But I like okay. to look good as well. So yes, something you that always gives look me, nice. Something that gives me a confidence boost. That if I'm going out to like the pub and I'm thinking, oh, jeans and a nice top. So yeah. I wear jeans and that because it'll make me feel good. Yeah. Or like. Yeah. I got this skirt and I love this skirt. That I've got. <laughs> but I like to wear it to certain places. Yeah. But then I won't wear it in other certain places. But it makes me feel good. So. Yeah. It's funny we we have stuff that we go back to again and again because we know we're gonna feel good in it. And I feel brilliant in it. So yeah. yeah. Excellent. That's it. Okay. All right, Laura. Thank you for doing the happiness interview. Thank you for being honest. It's okay. I love you loads. Thank you. I love you loads. And too. hopefully this will inspire what? some other people to think about what makes them happy. So this is gonna be our new little happiness series. I'm going to try and interview lots of different people. So, love you lots. Love Say bye you. to everyone. Bye. bye. Take care.